Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today I am diamond painting and I'm working on Hope Runs Deep. And when we finish here today I'll show you just how far I've gotten on this. I'm getting towards halfway. Not very much further. Oh my goodness, what a day guys. Oh my god. So my daughter had some stuff to do this morning, and then I, uh, let me make sure I got the right number, went over there about 12.30, watched the kids for a little bit, while she went out and used the chainsaw and cut up logs into rounds, and then about an hour later, I uh, went out there and helped her, oh crud. I put them in the wrong place. Dag nabbit. And we finished cutting up logs. And then she split logs. And then we moved all those split logs up to the front of the house and stacked it all. And I just got home. And it's like almost 3.30. Yeah, it, it, it's been kind of a, a busy strenuous day so this is about all I'm capable of doing is diamond painting today so I hope y'all don't mind but uh, yeah I haven't worked on any other, I didn't work do but just maybe five or ten minutes yesterday of diamond painting because I didn't get home until 10 so I haven't worked on anything for a day or so and today, I'm just, frankly, kind of tired, so I don't know how much is going to get done. But I um, had to work last night till 10, and that didn't go too bad. Okay, so I got all them Fs. Okay, let me put this away. And the day before, I worked, I think it was like 9 to, nine to 2. So that wasn't too bad. Is that three eight five six? Three eight five six. This is the sky up here, but you knew that, right? So we might as well get that little yellow part done there. It doesn't show too much of yellow here, but it's kind of a kind of got a peach tone to it. So that's not too bad. And let's see. I don't know much else. I mean, it, it's just been one of those weeks where you just got to learn everything and keep it all in your brain. And how did we do this or that? But I don't think it's going to be too difficult. So, hopefully, not. I didn't go to bed la yesterday until like. 2 o'clock in the morning because I was totally screwed up after getting home at 10 o'clock at night and I'm used to going to bed about midnight and I'd already gotten up at 6 o'clock in the morning but do you think I could sleep? Oh hell no. <sighs> and then I knew that we were going to work on this stuff, this wood today but I had some errands I had to run first. So yeah, it's just been special. Special, special, special. So I was ready to come home. I don't know what I'm fixing for dinner. It might be a fried egg as far as I'm concerned. Because I was going to make, make a chip, yeah, chicken and dumplings. But it's a little late in the day for that. I mean, I could, but I just don't have the energy to do that today. Oh, come on, silly thing. What in the heck? I thought I could get it with one finger, but that didn't work. And so this week I've been working on this a little bit. Trying to make some more progress on it. And here around the first part of the week I may have a surprise, so stay tuned for that. 
We'll see. We shall see. I tried to do those x's there but they were all scattered about in there before and it was like nope that's just too much trouble so we can work on it now three seven three three because we got that top part done or i got that top part done molly hush oh god but other than that I haven't been doing much of anything just trying to get into the swing of things and Starting a job is just always just strenuous. At least it is for me. So I never know how much stuff has to be learned or whatever. And then it's like, oh, that's it? Okay, well, okay, I got this. What else you got? But it'll be better after I get through this week. And then this week I only have to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday and Sunday and then I'll have to work Monday next, the week after because everybody's off on Thursday so that'll be nice and Thanksgiving is not this week but next week yay I have no clue what my daughter's doing or if I'm going there or if I'm going to my son's I just haven't quite figured it out no inclination I'm just got too much crap on my mind I'm just glad one of them is cooking and not me I mean I like to cook but that whole Thanksgiving dinner hoopty you know and then have people over and I'd let them do that I had my 40 years of that mess I'm done just done I was thinking maybe I'd make another one of those turkey meatloafs so I could have turkey at home but I don't know if I want to go to all that hoopty or not it doesn't take too long and you make it in a loaf instead of you know making the turkey and all that just so I have some kind of leftovers because you know frankly the what do you call it? The Hungry Man dinners just ain't doing it anymore. I mean, I wouldn't mind cooking a turkey, but you know, ain't got nobody to eat it, so it's a lot of turkey. And I'll make, I'll have the turkey, like roast turkey, and then I'll have uh, turkey tetrazzini. Because I love turkey tetrazzini, and I make that with leftover turkey, but... I don't know, just haven't decided what I'm going to do or if I'm just going to skip it this year. I, Because I usually make something small. Sometimes I'll get those, um, I want to say, not turkey loaves. What do you call those? Like a turkey breast. Sometimes they already have like a cooked turkey breast. I think Jenny O used to make them. I don't know if they still sell those around here or not. And they also have a a thing at the grocery store where you can buy like a, a dinner and you can get the smallest one I think it well last year it was fifty dollars and it comes with the turkey and mashed potatoes and cranberry salad and something else well it comes with rolls and you get a pie for all that amount of money so I mean it, it's a good deal we did that one year, and they got Cajun turkey. I didn't care for that, but they ate it. So and they like that Cajun chicken you can get in the deli, so I'm not real fond of it. But uh, did a little grocery shopping, and I thought real strong about going to the, what do you call it, the fabric place they have here in town to see if I could find any more DMC floss. But, uh, didn't stop there today. I had too much other crap on my mind and just need to wait and make up my mind. Okay, I need number four. Number four is 340. 340. Ooh, that's a pretty purple. 
must be the trees that we're going to do that come down like right behind all these buildings. Trying to get this little corner done. I've been at it for three days. Of course, I had all that open, so I guess I'm not doing too bad. I don't know. Sometimes I, I can diamond paint really fast and other times not so much. So It is what it is and it'll get done when it freaking gets done. I just want this one done for Christmas. I don't know quite how I'm going to frame it or what I can find. I have to measure it all again and see exactly what might work. And I don't know if, I know I can get like, um, what do you call them? Canvases, you know, in a big size at Walmart. So I may go that route. I I don't know. It just depends. Sometimes I can find big pictures that I can take out of a frame. Usually, unfortunately, I like them, so I leave them in the frame. But um, sometimes they have them about the size of a poster. Maybe not quite that big, but you know what I mean. And uh, so I, I just don't know how it's going to go or what exactly I'm going to put behind this. I might be able to find some foam board. I'm not real fond of foam board, and I don't think I have a a piece of, oh, I don't know what that wood is called, that size. I mean, my daughter, she could probably cut it for me. We do have a jigsaw. It's still in my car after two years because I never moved it out of the back seat. We had to cut the boards for the floor, and I don't know how it ended up in the back seat. Maybe she was cutting some stuff and needed to borrow it, and that's it. I have no idea. I don't even know if the damn thing still works. So, but I bought it. And I was putting the flooring in here. and So, you know, hey, we'll see. Don't know. So, there's lots of possibilities. You know, I'm, I've got places. And I've got some of that. I call it o or OSB board or something like that, I believe. And I can get, what is the one? It begins with an M. Oh, hell. Ugh. I can't think. But you know what I'm talking about. Where the heck was I going to go with that? Hmm. I had an idea, but now I've lost it. That's what happens when I talk. I guess it'll go right there. Whoop. Come here, you. I love all these purples and pinks and peaches and they're just really pretty all together diamond art club does a fabulous job of shading everything and and making it all meld together really nice and not so um what do you call that word pixelated i'm sorry i can't think my endorphins are up from doing too much physical work here so i'm kind of brain dead so sorry if i can't keep up the conversation here but whoops I think I poured that right out on the the table there there's a couple there I guess not so bad K K K K K K I know I'm gonna be stiff and sore tomorrow chucking wood and I don't know what I was thinking I guess I was just feeling festive three seven four six is that what I want three Three seven four six. It's another shade of purple. Ah, believe it or not. So pretty. Look at that purple. Isn't that beautiful? It's just gorgeous. And they're so sparkly. I haven't worked on the the Chinese women. I kind of put it aside to make some progress on this. One bead at a time, that's all it takes. I did work a little bit on my sampler and got another string across there done. But, uh, so it's not going what you call greatly fast. None of it goes fast. But, you know, it's just something to do and I can sit on the, the what do you call it, on the couch and watch TV and do it at the same time. But... Uh, haven't watched did 
them. Oh, I've been watching that uh, Ken Burns The West on uh, Netflix. I think I saw it a whole... It was back at 90-something. Because I can remember that when the kids were at home. And I haven't seen it in a while. I think I rented it, or rented it, borrowed it from the library a long time ago when I was living in Kansas. But I haven't seen it since, so it, it's kind of nice to watch. He does a good job with those mini-series. There was one on Gettysburg, and then this one on the West. But they're nicely made, and well narrow, narrated and it goes right along so had to have something else that was some kind of a series to watch i haven't watched the cable girls i tried to watch that but never could get into that but uh, it's my time period so i i like anywhere from the 30s through to the early 60s so Sometimes, every once in a while, I will watch something like in, um, say, Victorian times or the 1600s. I don't get too carried away about that crap, unless it's China. But uh, Oh, well, it's a change of pace and something to watch. I don't watch much TV, as you know, so... I think we got them all. Oh, there's two more right there. I just wanted to do a quick little whip and chat and see if I could get some progress going here and get my muscles to relax. I made some more uh, wonton soup last night and had that for dinner. And before I went to work, I made nachos and homemade guacamole. So I had that. I was like, okay, we're done with the Mexican food for a while. I love it, but geez, please. Got to have a change of pace. I was going to make, I was thinking about making, what do you call them? Egg rolls, because I make them from scratch, but I didn't have a whole lot of oil. And uh, it takes a little bit to do that. I usually make them up and put them in the freezer and... Because if I'm going to make them, I'm going to make at least two uh, containers of wrappers, which is about 30 of them at a fell swoot. And then I put them in, uh, what do you call them, quart Ziploc bags and freeze them. And then I just take them out when I want them. But, you know, it's another one of them things. That's one of those things that takes half a day to do because you got to cook it all up and then chop it up real fine and it it's yeah i didn't feel like using my muscles quite that much and especially after today i was saving myself for today because i knew it was going to be throwing and chucking and jesus yep i'll be done with that for a while and she's got enough wood to last her at least till february now so we won't have to do that nightmare and after that I don't know. Should just get more, I guess. There are some bigger logs out there, but without her husband there, I really don't like to handle the ones. I mean, God, they're about a foot and a half around, and it's not something we're going to move. Not with me. So. But, you know, I try to help out, and some days I just Flat out, don't feel like I can extend my muscles like that. So, And then we have to have a break. Because God knows. 155. Sorry about my nails, but, you know, I've had gloves on all day. They, they don't look too bad. At least it didn't break anything. I was happy about that. But we were wearing leather, leather gloves. She bought my granddaughter, the four-year-old. A pair of John Deere work gloves. And they're the cutest thing. They're like like maybe that big. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, they're so cute. But she was out there lifting little pieces of wood and 
taking them over and helping everybody stack. And my grandson was out there. I figured, by God, they can just get out there and help, too. They didn't help too much, but we stacked the majority of it. But, God, I was done. <coughs> so, I might have myself a drink tonight. I don't know. Depends what I do after all this, but I try to do it when I don't have to get up in the morning and I just need to totally relax and unwind. My favorite is Kahlua and soda. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love Kahlua and soda. So, don't much like the whiskey anymore these days, but I, I bought a a pint of Jim Beam or Jack Daniel. I don't know which one it is. And it's still in there. And I've had it probably a year and a half. So that I've really cut back on drinking my whiskey. But uh, it's just not something I, I want to do. But if I'm totally strung out from work, you know, it doesn't kill you to have one little drink. So, But I'm not going to get carried away and get totally wasted because that, that just didn't do it for me anymore it didn't even do it for me in the day so but uh, I just like to have a drink and sometimes I'll have wine but uh, it all started with whiskey and like bourbon and so or bourbon and um, coke so but hey you know life changes and I've been buying um some wine from the liquor store that uh, is a sweet wine because I like sweet wine or I like um, cream sherry. So I go through phases just kind of like this mess. You know, sometimes that sounds good and sometimes not so much. So and I can go six, eight months without having a drink. Except in the summertime. That, that's when most of the drinking happens. Because I need to calm down and, but, um, we don't get too carried away. Sometimes my daughter and I'll just go have a drink. Leave the kids at home and we'll just go have us a drink and that's about it. It takes us a whole half an hour to go have a drink and come home if we want something that we don't want to have to buy a whole bottle of to get through. But, uh, come on, you silly thing. Would you get down there? I pushed that thing down about five times. And it didn't want to come down. I know there ain't no bubbles under there. It's just my arm muscles are kind of fried. Three, five, two, three, five, two. We've got to get this two P, three P's over here. Three P's in pod. No. Oh. It actually got it on the first stab. Oh, and I got another one. Come on. Oh, there's three. Oh, and I see one hiding out up here. So we'll get him too. Oh, geez. What does that look like? Oh, okay. It is up here somewhere. I have the worst time trying to find that. Three, three, four, one. Three, three, four, one. Oh, that's kind of a bright orange. Oh, come on. Okay, we got all that. I need number one, which is I know what a boy Is that what it's called? Jeez, that didn't even sound right. Yeah, Aurora Borealis. I was thinking about the what do you call it? The actual Aurora Borealis. Isn't that what it's called? Oh my god, I told you. It's not a well day. Oh crap. I only had to put about 8 or 10 in there. And of course it took my wax out. God. You're not helping. Okay, and why? Why, 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 why? 797. Got a few of those. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. 
kind of a dark royal blue. Oh, come on, really? I don't know what this is. I'll be able to see it once I get away from it. And I'll show you the whole part that I got done. About up to the church, I think, almost. Which is about the center. Whoops. Oh, come on. Center of the, what do you call it, the diamond painting? I think. I think, I think. Okay, red, 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 red. Where is it? There it is, 814. Oh, look, it's right here. And I'm not going to stab nine out of there. We'll just put a little bit. Some days it's easier. Usually it goes faster. This must be a window or something. That's all I can think of. I can't see it, and I don't have my little... What do you call it? You know, that sticker thing that it they give with it. Okay, I need twos. Two, two, two. I'm 32. It's Aurora Borealis again. Oh, come on! Seriously? If you do it, touch them real light. Oh, come on. To the thing and try not to because the harder you push it down oh god then it all comes out of there all right we've got one more color here guys we're going to finish this section where the heck oh it's the black one four nine eight Ooh, that's a dark red that's my cranberry red a brick red whoop i actually got a piece of trash oh my god from like diamond art club Holy crap, that never happens. I don't know where that came from. I never had that kind of stuff. Uh, that one was up too. I'm going to have to really roll this puppy. Because I've been doing it with a multi-placer and stuff. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I got two E's, an A, and a T. Okay, let's see. Two E's. E is way down there, I think. Three, seven, five, five. Three, seven, five, five. It's kind of a, a blue. Like a medium robin egg blue, maybe? I don't know, I'm terrible. Oh, come on. See what I mean? God forbid you have to do too many. Okay, one T, one T, one T. Two, T, 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 T. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. I had that out earlier, didn't I? I must have missed him. There we go. And one A. A is 208. And then I can show you what it looks like. But yay, we got that all done. Okay. Let me get this back. Get all the crap out of the way. I'm telling you. Oh, there's my... Couldn't find my wax, so I went and got another one. Jeez. All right, move, Molly. Okay, okay. Hang on, guys. Ouch. There you go. I had to put her out. Okay, let me move the... Bees. Bees. I've been doing sewing too much. Move the drills. And bring you out. Whoop, my bad. Sorry. Okay. So let me pull this up here. Whoop. I think that's as far as it's going to go. So this is the edge. So we got all that. And we'll come across. And all the sky there. And then we got that 
one building. He just has like a couple inches right there. And then we got all that done. And we're right along this edge. I haven't started on that part yet. So it's where the white ends. So yeah. So it's coming along. Alright guys. Well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining me today. And don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening. And a good rest of your weekend. God bless. Bye bye.